this result isn't all that exciting. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Please pull the lever! Crap! I bit my tongue at the most important part! Bye, Gundam. To be honest, I'm surprised you survived this long. Ah, uh, it'd be bad if I bit my tongue again, so I'll slowly speak. Speak slowly. Judging from the results, you guys were correct once again. Getting four in a row without any mistakes is a splendid achievement. That's right, the one who killed the robotic Nekamaru is the amazing funhouse. Was Gundam Tanaka? Nice! Yeah, I said all that without biting my tongue. Now then. Now that we've decided who the killer is, let's do the execution already and get over with. Hold on. It's true that the class trial is finished, but that doesn't mean the in the incident is over. We can't finish that until we hear it from Gundam. Jeez. Uh, no matter what he says, it won't change a thing. Well, I have no right to stop you either. So do whatever you like. Fall, my Why do you want to talk to the one who was at lost? Wait, what? Why do you want to talk to the one who has lost? The loser merely leaves. It would be an unnecessary for it would be just unnecessary for me to say something. Listen well. Is that is that the fuck? God damn it! I'm so tired. It's what I would like to say, but for the honor's sake, I shall correct correct one thing. Correct. You guys said I made Nekamaru powerless without fighting him. That, however, is a grave mistake. Huh? Five. Nekamaru did fight. That is no mistake. And because he fought, he lost and died. D damn it! Lost and died. This too. If he was just trying to cling to life, there are many fuck. There are many ways he he could have done so. However, he did not allow that. You. What do you mean? Explain. <laughs> Fine then. Then I shall reveal it all. Let's make history. Within the final dead room, I discovered the secret of the funhouse, and I devised the killing plan utilizing that secret. By tampering with all the clocks in the building, I succeeded in luring Nekamar to the tower, and this is what happened. Nekamaru and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another. Hmm. I should say I expected as much from Nekamaru. He sensed my s subtle my subtle killing instinct and instantly understood the situation and we had ourselves a showdown stare down my bad not showdown stare down in that situation if he wanted to run away he could have it would have been easy for him to do so he could have ran away or even called for help but he did not turn his back to me instead he chose to fight that risked life and death that is a fight that risked life and death let me tell you this. he was serious too he gave it his all to try to kill me. Huh? huh? <laughs> if I had died instead, the mystery surrounding the case would have been even more complicated. You wouldn't ever know why I, the victim, went to the tower by myself. Nobody would know that the victim, me, was actually the one who planned the whole thing. Could it be? Mekamaru really did that? Sensing even my subtle killing intent. As expected of you, Nekomaru. The scorching, stinging, tense atmosphere. I've been a team manager for so long, I'd nearly forgotten this. This is great! What a comforting atmosphere! Hmm, that's a great one. And what is your reason? Do you intend to resolve this situation by killing me? <laughs> I am the warlock. Gundam Tanaka, heroes, lords of darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. I do not cling to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. <laughs> You'll drench your soul with evil until the bitter end, huh? Splendid! In response to your spirit, I shall kill you with all of my might. I won't go easy on you. Don't even think about holding back. 
Don't waste your breath on cowardly tactics! Give me everything you got! Nekomoro Nidai, your blood will drench the foundation of my empire! That is... Why? Why did you fight? We're all friends. Why couldn't you stop this? Even if both sides agreed, it was still wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I will not argue. I have no intention of forcing my values upon you. Let me tell you However, this. I must say this. What the point of li what's the point of living if you're just waiting until you finally die? You weakling! There's nothing courageous about that. That is a bon what the fuck? A badomine behabita, what's that word? That is a bandomine behabita. I don't know what that word is. I don't know how to say that. That is a band dominant. A band dominant? A band. Oh, abandonment. The fuck? How the f. Someone just kill me now, please. That is abandonment. A merely fleeing of resignation. Huh? Wait. Are you telling us that to just wait around and we start. Wait, what? Are you telling us to just wait around until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us. What? Then have our friends kill each other. Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Fall, my tears. Ever since we were locked inside the building, everyone had been dominated by the feeling of abandonment. However, nothing is born from resignation. That is simply a reason to give up. If you flinch, you will die. Giving up on life? That's just an insult to life itself. Let me ask. Have you fools heard of the term dog eat dog? Um, cannibalism? Fine. In zoology, cannibalism is a commonly observed phenomenon. Many creatures at some point in their lifespan engage in cannibalism. Listen well! That is what it means to live. If you say killing for the sake of living is evil, then what would you call giving up for life itself? Giving up on life itself. I shall yeah. engulf this world. If a word if a world would consider that justice, then I will fight the world with every last fiber of my being. Giving up on life and choosing death is nothing but a blasphemy towards life. I renounce you! It is a violation of natural order. It is the arrogance of humanity. You are you saying all that is just trying to justify what you did? But but it sounds like Nekamaru felt the same too. And that's why they fought, right? Damn it! <sighs> Fine. That man had the courage to die when he needed to die. That is why he challenged me to our battle. <laughs> Regardless, as I have already said, I do not intend to force my values upon you fools. I have betrayed you all. That is an absolute truth. Fall, my dear. But even so... Don't you think it's better alternative to slowly starving to death here? Oh. That belief is why you committed your crime? You... Hey, what about the final dead room? Did you do the Russian roulette too? Let's make history. Unlike Nagito, I only did it once. But... <laughs> hmm. Compared to my battle with Nagamaru, that was mere child's play. Well? You know... After listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that, well, it's also because you unexpectedly admitted your crime without much resistance. Gundam, don't tell me you, you didn't sacrifice yourself for our sake, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you would ask such a foolish question. My name is Just who Gundam do you think I am? I am Gundam Tanaka, history's greatest monster. My cursed existence is feared by all mankind. There's no way I sacrifice myself for the sake of you fools. Fade like not in a million, not in a billion, not in 10,000 billion years, in the name of pandemonium, is this impossible. Is that it? Then I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> now then, let us be rid of this foolish talk. It's about time the fun started. <laughs> Monokuma, let's begin. Yes, indeed! Yep, I got it. <laughs> I prepared a special punishment for the ultimate breeder, Gundam Tanaka. Please wait! Please wait. This... this is just too much. Please, Monokuma, please help Gundam. Huh? 
Miss Sonya. I beg of you! Please, I beg of you! How pitiful. Sonya. An act as unrefined as stopping a man from going to his death does not befit a noble such as yourself. Uh. Gundam? Hmm. Hmm. It's fine to start for reals. Alright. Fine. Yes. I do not mind. However. What is it, my four dark What is it, my four dark days of destruction? Are you worried about me? Oh, my feared four dark devas of destruction. That is not like you at all. However, there is no need to fear. In this world, I am only a temporary visitor. I was simply visiting for a moment, and now that my duty is complete, I must return to the darkness. That is why, until the very end, Pride, conceit, courage, insolence, fearful of nothing, daunted by nothing. Let us laugh uproariously. <laughs> that is Gundam Tanaka. I shall stick with my evil until the very end. Open Sesame Pandemonium! I shall fill hell with true hell! <laughs> Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Gundam. No. No. <laughs> Even after Gundam's gone, the spirit of his parting words still linger deep in our chest. Don't give up on life. Did I misunderstand what he meant? Then, what's the right thing to do? I don't know. No matter how much I think about it, I don't know if I'll ever be able to answer that. Damn it. I'm so pissed off. I need to throw something. D damn it! You all spent so much time worrying about each other, and thanks to that, things ended up like this. You're all full of shit. Every last one of you. But the biggest piece of shit is me. The worst. Damn it. Why am I so weak? Oh. It's such a downer, clearly. But still, even though we feel this way, we still gotta do our very best. You are right. This time around, we must move forward. We must continue to live and believe in our friends. If not... You are right. Gunda will most likely crawl his way out of hell, and I presume he will be very cross with us. You're right. You're right. We shouldn't just stand here. I mean, it's not like this is over. We still have to do it. We still have to finish this. For the sake of our friends who have died, we need to finish this once and for all. 
So, don't just stand there. Stand up and walk. Move forward. Live. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have died in vain. We can't allow that. Hey! Hey! So how long are you guys going to stand around there chattering? The class trial is over, so it's okay for you to hurry back to your Jabberwock Island. <laughs> However, the killing school trip will proceed as usual, so make sure you don't... Ugh, make sure you don't. Make sure you know that. Wait! Hold on. How, how much longer are you going to keep doing this? Seriously, how long is he going to keep doing this? How long is this going to continue? Now then. <laughs> Alright, after feeling down for so long, I finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Hey, hey! Hold on a second, the moose shift too damn fast. It's not like that. Well, you know, it's like Gundam and Nakamaru said. That's what it means to live, right? Huh. Huh. <laughs> She's certainly something else. <laughs> But seriously, I'm starving. Hey, hey. Then let's go back for now and eat. And then, after we're full, we'll sleep as much as we can. Right? And then, let's do our best again. Yeah, you're right. With this, the class trial has come to an end. And once again, we return to Jabberwock Island. The size of our group has definitely diminished. But despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimism was only superficial. But at the moment, we were able to forget about the dark despair looming before us. However, the only thing I was worried about was him. He wasn't there. He suddenly disappeared from our sight. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm definitely lucky. I never expected to obtain so much valuable things from a simple game of Russian roulette. <laughs> Thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy. And before everyone else, too. But it's just too funny. I mean, no one could tell that I was lying. There's no way the file had just Hajime's information. Well, I guess that was too easy. I guess that was too busy. I guess they were too busy with other matters, or maybe they reached their limit. Regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. Anyway, I can't forgive this. Damn it. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. I'll be the one who stopped this once and for all, even if it costs my life. It's obvious. For the sake of hope, I cannot ignore this. Monokuma appears! Alright, Monokuma has arrived. Who summoned me? Thanks for coming. What's this? Why? Is it our lonely little Nagito? Are you all alone tonight too? What's the matter? So what's up? Your face looks scary. <sighs> I see. So you can tell. Ah, hmm? uh, perhaps you found out who the traitor is? <laughs> you know me well. Oh. Is what I like to say, but unfortunately I haven't learned that yet. Hmm. I see. So even you don't know. Hmm. Looks like the final showdown is going to take a little more time. Hello. So why'd you summon me anyways? Were you finally going to confess your love? Hey. I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize from the final dead room. Hmm? Oh yeah, what about it? There was information about 16 people in the file I received. But isn't that weird? Say what? What's weird? You don't even know. Well, there's a trainer from the Future Foundation hunting amongst us, right? Include that person, the total number of students would be 16, right? Isn't that right? But this file contains documents that were created at Hold Speak Academy, of right? Of course! That's right. I just reused the stuff that the former headmaster spent a lot of time what? making. If this file even contains information about the traitor, was the person also a former student at Hold Speak Academy? Who knows? Eh, I wonder. Hey. Could it be? <laughs> Is this your doing? Did you slip false information into the file? Were you trying to keep us from learning the trainer's identity by obtaining this information? Hmm? What's wrong with that? If my job to heat if my job is to heat up things, it's okay to do something small like that, right? Well and that's not my point. Right? My point is you already know who the traitor is. Hmm? What's wrong with that? You're 
getting all right. Well, you splendidly correct when you say I knew who the traitor was all around. Why'd I say that? I knew who the traitor was all along. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? Hmm. It's just like Monomi after losing her magic stick. The traitor existence means absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> There's existence means nothing? No, hmm. no. Well, that's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. Shing. After all, the person is the person is the evil future foundation lackey who put he's putting you guys through this awful stuff. <sighs> huh. That's not entirely true. I didn't come along here to fight or anything like that. <laughs> Instead, I came here to offer my cooperation, you know? Huh? Cooperation? Hey. Your yeah, purpose is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? Is that why you're intentionally letting the traitor do as they please? Yep. Yep. I... If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat too. Right. However, in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. Hmm. I see. Interesting. Very interesting. No, no, no! Obviously, that's a bing no. Unbelievable. I mean, I want to make everyone in your group feel despair. That includes you too. Oh. Well, I knew you would say that. Hmm. Besides, I just wanted to be able to handle the sadness when you inevitably betray me later on. <laughs> ah, just as I thought. You saw right through me. Right. No matter what situation I find myself in, my core way of thinking will never change. In order to create absolute hope that shines brightly, step ladders such as myself and despair exist. <laughs> hmm, you're right. You're a true believer of hope after all. I must say, that belief reminds me of that person for some reason. Huh? Reminds you? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, but if someone has worthless as me reminds you of some sort of other person, they must be extremely unlucky. Like... But you're just as unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like this. Oh. I am? I actually think I'm very lucky. Say what? Huh? You don't know? When did you say that? Come across this so much despair is a rather rare opportunity? I can't rely on anyone on this island. That's why I have to be the one who does it. If I can eliminate despair from this island, I won't be a stepladder anymore. I'll become true hope. <laughs> I'll become an existence that can even be called ultimate hope. <laughs> the two of you are alike. You definitely remind me of him. Hey. Hey, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Mm -hmm. Huh? See? Who are you waiting for on this island? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on the island? Hey. Well, answer my question. The that if if that's the case, if the person's already on this island, <laughs> wouldn't it be exciting? 